Hey all everyone and welcome to an update video I honestly was never expecting to make. So um the Russia and Ukraine situation. It's bad. You probably heard it either up around other videos or just checking news so I'm not gonna go into specifics. But this is a scary time for everyone. Definitely the most scary for the people who are actually involved in the situation, but depending on how things go, this could get bad. I'm not going to go into specifics again, because once again, this is not a not a what's currently going on with the situation video or a blatant fear-mongering video. But this will affect, like, everyone. Some way, somehow. When all is said and done, so. It's just a scary, sad time for everyone. But, the rest of the world is. Well, except people in the actual situation, I'm sure they, that they're just living horribly. And I. I'm so sorry that they have to go through that. I, I won't wish on anyone, but. That, that's the reality of their lives right now, and I hope they can make out of it okay. But the world outside of the direct situation seems to be moving on like world fine, and to be fair, I, I don't, <laughs> I kind of agree with that sentiment. I don't want this to be Cold War time. Well, that, that just interrupted everything. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't want, I, I'm really hoping this doesn't become like Cold War 2 where like everything that schools and the place around us are teaching us is what's going on with the situation. It's good to keep updates, but like this current stage, it, one or two discussions the, regarding it at the stage of recording this. There is no. <laughs> That point, you're just fear mongering, and I don't approve of that at all. And once again, we live in a more modern age where it's easier to give, distract yourself from that thing, and that's a large part of what I want to do in this video. So, this update video, after giving some of the cold hard facts at this very scary emotional time, could lead to the third world war, depending on how long things go on and how. Bar they escalate, but outside of that, how how is this going to affect uh, my YouTube content? Uh, glad you asked, person who doesn't actually exist. But <laughs> what I'm gonna do, at least what I'm gonna try to do on both channels. Mangado is a bit questionable because it's not like I can just have some filler content because like the most I can do is anime or manga reactions and those are those are kind of weird because like with manga re reactions it pretty much just be some 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 jinx level reaction where like I have two three or four things that I actually like react to same with anime like trust me you don't unless you're literally watching it with me it like physically like we're, we're friends IRL you don't you don't want that <laughs> at least with Shadow Joker because this video is going up on both channels because it's, it's very important the plan is to ultimately just be like what I was trying to do back when, like, lockdown first happened. And try and almost grind out videos because these are serious times for everyone. Because, like, once again, even though definitely the people 
the Ukrainians and people who are just generally involved directly hopefully have the worst. But once again, depending on how things go and how people are worrying about it, it could go horribly for everywhere else as well. And people of all places right now, they need distractions. That That's what YouTube and just general fictional media, if you want to throw that in there, can help you with. The ultimate purpose of me doing YouTube content is always to try and entertain people. So I'm going to try my damnedest to do that. In this time period, no matter how long it goes, I, I'll try my hardest to just grind out some content. That's hopefully good. not going to like grind out in the sense that, oh yeah, we're going to have daily uploads and stuff that's not honestly not all that interesting. No, I'm still going to try and put effort into content, but... I'm going to try my damnedest to get things done earlier, not slack off with editing and actually uploading. And I do have quite a few videos in the works, plus, plus I'm narrowing down Let's Play ideas. So hopefully, I can help even just one person forget about the situation for at least a little bit. And help them get to some level of, like, normalcy. That's that's all I hope when it comes to making videos in a situation like this. But anyway. Stay safe, everyone. Especially if, if you're in Ukraine or for whatever reason are watching this. And just in general, keep update on the situation. But also, like, don't forget some time to just relax, breathe, and just clear your mind. That's that's very important. I'd say it's even more important than keeping updated with what's actually going on. Anyway, I'll see you guys for the next video, whatever that may be.